called me Matilda. My mama kept my hair long. Hi, my name is Matthew Cause. I sing and play guitar in a group called Not a Surf. We formed in the early 90s in New York City. I used to think I was an unusually nervous person, but now I'm not sure that's ever been true. You see, I have a tremor. I first became aware of it when classmates in middle school asked me why I was nervous, because they'd noticed my hands shaking. I looked down, saw what they saw, and thought, oh, they must be right. I must be nervous. So that's how I felt from then on, basically for decades. My father had shaky hands, and my teenage son does also. The general term for what we have is essential tremor. It's different from Parkinson's disease in that it only happens when you use whatever body part it affects, not when it's at rest. My case is slightly unusual in that it started earlier than it does for most people, and it's gotten a little better with age. It's always been noticeable, but it would get particularly bad either when I actually was nervous, or mostly if I didn't want anyone to think I was, like if I was making a presentation in front of the class, pouring a glass of water at a girlfriend's parents' house, pouring a glass of wine as an adult, holding a microphone for interviews, basically doing anything where someone might be looking at my hands. It would affect my voice too, and sometimes my whole body. It was a feedback loop. If I didn't want to shake, it was almost guaranteed that I would. A lot of people have it much worse, but in my case, it was bad enough that it was a pretty constant source of embarrassment and dread. I felt like there was something wrong with me. Of course, I was terrified the first few times I played concerts, but I kept doing it because I loved music. And eventually I got used to performing, and now I'm generally really calm on stage. Still, a few years ago, I was playing a solo acoustic show, and for some reason, that night, lack of sleep or something, I was trembling a lot. I could feel it was making people uncomfortable, so I decided to take a few minutes and talk to the audience about it. It helped ease the tension and helped me steady myself. After the show, a young guy came up to me, teary-eyed, and said that he had a bad tremor and that he was ashamed of it and that he'd been trying to hide it his whole life. He said he didn't know anyone else with the condition and that he'd thought he was alone. My heart went out to him. I could see the release of tension he was feeling. That's why I'm making this video, in case you or someone you know has the condition, and in case hearing about it might help. In recent years, three things have made things a little better for me. A lot better. One is that I've gotten older. I'm still just as excited about a million things, but I'm physically more peaceful. I think about my breath a little more, I meditate sometimes, not enough. I prioritize sleep, I don't drink as much, I just feel better generally, and this has helped calm my tremor down. The second thing is that I discovered beta blockers. They might not be right for you, talk to your doctor, but they can really help some people. They basically bring down your adrenaline and keep your heart from beating too fast. I actually take them pretty rarely, but just knowing they exist is a big comfort. The third thing is that I was invited by a friend into an email group of other people who have a tremor. That really helped. I wasn't alone. I have the mildest case in the group, but I'm so grateful to be included, and I've learned a lot and love the sense of community. Well, that's about it. If you have the condition and you feel alone and embarrassed about it, you're not alone. And as time goes by, you'll learn to be less embarrassed. There's not a thing wrong with you. It's been great to realize over the years that I'm not as nervous as I thought I was. I have a lot of nervous energy, but I'm a pretty steady, roll with it people person. I even jumped out of a plane once. Okay, I was really scared, but I think that's normal. Under this video, you'll find links to Essential Tremor Foundations in various countries. They're great resources to help you learn more about the condition, about treatment, and about communities and support groups. Okay, that's all. Thank you for watching. Stay healthy, stay excited. So much love.